What started with an offer sheet to Gordon Hayward weeks ago ended with all stars on the move in a furious 72 hours of free agency. Here's a look at the biggest moves from the weekend. The morning of July 11th, SI.com publishes LeBron James's essay entitled I'm Coming Home. LeBron signs a two-year deal worth $42.2 million and joins a roster that is young and talented, including three of the last four number one overall picks. On the same day that LeBron signs with his old team, one of his former teammates, Chris Bosh, re-signs with Miami for a max deal. The Heat had previously added Danny Granger, Josh McRoberts, and drafted Shabazz Napier. And before the weekend is over, they added Luol Dang and re-signed Mario Chalmers. And Pat Riley proves that he did indeed have a plan B. Later, Saturday afternoon, two-time champion Pau Gasol sends a tweet. He is joining Chicago, and the Bulls instantly become one of the favorites to win the East. With the combination of Gasol and Joakim Noah, along with a healthy Derrick Rose, Bulls fans are hoping for their first trip to the finals since the Jordan days. Sunday, July 13th, Carmelo Anthony makes his announcement. He is signing a max deal and coming back to the Knicks. Melo's five-year, $122 million deal means New York keeps its superstar, but now the pressure is on Phil Jackson to build a viable roster around Melo before he's past his prime. Rounding out the weekend, Paul Pierce is breaking from Kevin Garnett to sign with the Wizards. Pierce joins a roster that is on an upswing after making it to the second round of the playoffs last year and locking up Marcin Gortat to a five-year, $60 million deal on July 10th. As for the teams that fell short, the Houston Rockets wind and dine Carmelo, offered Bosch a max contract, even traded Jeremy Lin in a first-round pick to clear cap space, and they don't even have Chandler Parsons to show for it. Instead, they signed Trevor Ariza to a four-year deal. Are they still contenders? It's up to James Harden and Dwight Howard now.